Your draft status. Well, contact ID match here. Just a number. But your legacy. Your legacy score. Start building that today. It's about the way you interact with teammates, coaches, opponents. It's about fearlessness, week in, week out. Overcoming the onslaught of the league's top defenders. Demonstrating leadership in everything you do, from how you play to what you wear. <laughs> it's about laying a strong foundation in your rookie season. Becoming the quarterback I always knew you were. But first, right now, it's about winning the starting job. Good luck. Cut to RD. Great. Cut to RD match. Even though I muted all music, it still plays music. I love it. That's the, design, the, the surefire sign of a greatly designed game. You turn all the music off and it still plays music anyway. Start your week Piece by installing your game <laughs> plan. What is going on? Things to do? <clears throat> what is all this shit? View message from your head coach. We judge you because we love your talent. Apparently the head coach is Terry Cruz. Uh, we're excited to get, have you on the team. You didn't play much in college. We honestly don't know a lot about you. That's what the preseason's about. You'll be playing the first quarter of our game this week. Use it to loosen up your arms, stretch your legs a bit, and show us what you can do. You've earned a 300 experience point boost. And generate 50 yards of total offense game day goal. Okay. Lol, talk to you later. <laughs> oh. I got the trophy. Lol, talk to you later. Oh my god. Alright, continuing on. Text from Jack Ford, your former coach, right? The Linux you start a few games this preseason, good for you. Is there any aspect of your game I can help you with? Accuracy. I like to work on my throwing accuracy. The passing windows in the NFL are tighter than they were in college. Right, improve your accuracy on short and medium routes by releasing the ball as soon as your target plants his foot to change direction. That's your bread and butter, timing, precision. It takes practice, but son, you got all the tools to make it work, okay? <clears throat> you received three Mac. The fuck is Mac? With three mac and cheese pieces. <laughs> three elbow macaroni. And one toss. Okay, thank you for the toss. I always love it when my, my former coach and mentor calls me and gives me some toss. Excellent. Alright, equipped abilities. Ability slot is empty. Very nice. Let's figure this out. <laughs> this is the player card. Here you can see your strengths and weaknesses by looking at your archetype ratings. <laughs> okay. Great. Show us how good a player is at each archetype. This is your development <clears throat> trait. Superstar and Superstar X Factor players will progress faster over time. You can improve your development trait by being one of the top performers in the league at your position. Okay. This is the abilities tab. Here you can see what abilities you have and what effects they have in game. Great. This is your player's zone ability. A superstar X Factor player gets in the zone when they play to their strengths and excel at their position. Okay. I don't know what any of this means. Okay, great. So, all I can select right now is high, low, dead eye. Accurate passers know the ball plays is the difference between a touchdown and a turnover, so make consecutive passes for five plus yards in the air and don't take sacks. <clears throat> All right, here's some other abilities I can choose, right? So, I can choose four. You have perfect accuracy on all throws inside the numbers. Have a higher chance of completing pass animations while being sacked. Pass with this ability of perfect accuracy on a lob or touch passes. The lob is just tapping and releasing quickly. The touch isn't like, uh, you press it and then you release, right? Ball carries this ability of faster and higher hurdle animations. Well, let's do inside dead eye. Oh. Oh, they're all different. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I actually want inside dead eye. Okay, what's this? These choices. We make all hot root and blocking adjustments twice as fast. <clears throat> While in the pocket, passes with disability are almost guaranteed to break the first sack attempt. That sounds great. Passer with disability of perfect accuracy on all deep throws while their feet are set. 
that's good too. So either break the first sack as long as you're in the pocket, meaning you didn't move too far outside of the starting area, or have a really good long-range passing. Oh, these are tough. That's tough. <clears throat> That's pretty tough. What do you guys think? Which is better? Let's see what people have to say. Combat likes the sack break. Jack Spartacus says, you're due to the Fishman. What team is he on? This is the Dolphins. Fishman on the Dolphins. <laughs> Willius is the passing's better. They're both good. Combat says long range passing is a function of wideouts, but sack break is important. All right, yeah, I think so. Because here's the thing: even if my entire fucking team sucks, if I can break the first sack, I can still make a play. You see what I mean? So we're gonna go for that. Yeah. Clutch midway through the fourth quarter in close games, players with this ability can easily enter and remain in the zone. When playing at home, players with disability can easily enter the zone. Well, this one's only good at home games. How often will you be playing at home? This one, I, I'm going to go with this one because this could be anywhere. Even though it has to be a close game, I want that clutch ability. I'm going for that. Alright, there we go. It's time for weekly training. What is he doing? You taking a fucking selfie? What are you doing? It's my first week here. Time to take a bunch of selfies in the locker room, you fucking asshole. All right. That Indie Glow, uh, cheer, excuse me. That Indie Glow resubbed for 20 months in a row. He says, Phil, did your parents always live in Connecticut or did they one day move there when they were younger? They both always lived in Connecticut. In fact, they both almost always lived near the same place in the same spot. So... They are pretty much homebodies. They've never really done anything outside of Connecticut. So there you go. <clears throat> Alright. Start the weekly training. Let's do some practice runs. Sounds good. Alright, so here you go. Let's see what we can get. All these e different X factors you can get, apparently, huh? Well, I want to be the strip specialist. Take your clothes off faster than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> It tells you what the X factors are for these these actual superstars, right? Let's go, let's go. On the hop, fellas, on the hop. Who wants it? Let's see some hustle out there today. Got a big game this week. Come on. A big game is a preseason game. Is that a pre-game? What are you talking about? Run the Mills concept and complete the pass. What wait, what's that? The Mills concept? Am I supposed to throw it to Allen? I don't know. It's just as complete a pass, so. Okay, I just gotta complete a pass. That's all it is. AC Slater, AC Slater. Should have called for Zach Morris instead of AC Slater. <laughs> wow, terrible. Listen up, fellas. I think we all know what today was. Today simply wasn't good enough. We have high aspirations as a team. If we want to get there, we got to raise our game. Today was not good enough. Next practice, I want it better. I did terrible. I suck ass, dude. Retry. Retry. What's going on? It didn't work. I pressed three different buttons and it didn't pass. He just stood there.
Oh my god. <sighs> okay. I got four out of five, much better. Hey, big fella, swing over here. Let's talk. We've been talking about you getting better every week. And you know what? Today you got better. Let's keep there it up. There you go. You like that. You like that. Silver urn. I'll take the silver, I guess. Silver. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. All right, time for my first preseason game. I probably have just enough time to finish this up on today's stream. So my very first uh, game ever in the NFL were against the Atlanta Falcons. There's a pretty good team, at least when I used to watch football, they were pretty good. I don't know if they're still good. Uh, they're rated 77. Our team's ranked 68. So basically, we suck and they kind of suck. All right, there you go. <clears throat> They're just average now? Oh, okay. Just an average team. They were pretty good at one point. Yeah, my team is terrible. 68. It's a rebuilding year for sure. I mean, they recruited a guy to be their quarterback who only played in two games ever. So, yeah, I'm not surprised that they suck. Hey, everybody. It's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a terrific matchup on tap between the Atlanta Falcons and the Miami Dolphins. Is that the coach? We'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. Is that John of the Coachman? Thursday night football. I think it is. Call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. I think that was okay, John of the Coachman. It was coach. I knew it was John of the Coachman. <laughs> oh my God. The excitement brewing here in South What the hell? Ago, the Dolphin starters were introduced to this home crowd. Thank you, Sam Buga2020, for a seven-month resub. I appreciate that. With the Atlanta Falcons. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. And I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. Meanwhile, for the visiting Falcons, an early season tilt, and when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet, and both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. All right. I don't care who the fuck this guy is. All right, continue playing. So Jonathan Coachman's in the game. That's pretty fucking funny. All right, how many how many touchdown passes do I have to to uh, complete the cure leukemia in this game? All right, so let's complete three passes to gain experience. Well, I'm gonna do some runs to start. It's raining, by the way. Our first game ever. It's raining. That's not good. We're down by seven already. This is Kenyon Drake, the fourth year man from Alabama, and from the 25. Wait a minute. To the I didn't run the ball. Uh, it, the whole game just changed. I no longer control the defense, and I no longer do anything but control passing. I'm serious. I don't control the running, nothing. All I do is the play calling. The whole game just changed. What is this, man? Second and six, just inside the 30. Six man. Check curls, check curls. Second and six. Caught it! Nice. Wilson. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A nice. Game there of 21 yards. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, very any nice. hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And he's over midfield and into Falcon That's territory. Six yards. Nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. 
All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Second and four. Beautiful. Got a man open. Hell yeah. Flag on the play. And he gets this inside the 35 yard face line. Face mask. Dude, what's up with so many face mask penalties in this game? Crazy face so mask. That one will be accepted. Automatic first down. Frogs, logs, and cogs cheers. So can't you mute the stream for a second if you suspect Kata ID music is coming? I mean, I would have to completely, like, completely destroy the stream, I guess. I guess I could. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. Running, it's Drake. Nice. Good run. It's like and four yards. His way forward here for a Injury timeout. Oh, come on. Running play. We've got a man down got, on the field. You've got to be kidding me. Definitely the last you thing you want to see here in a preseason game. A preseason we'll right game. The dude's hurt. Are you fucking serious? He broke his leg. He broke his fucking leg, dude. It snapped. His leg snapped. God damn it. The guy's legs are made of fucking twigs. The last run got six. Now second and four. Back to throw. Touchdown. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. An 11 yard touchdown. Yeah. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pad, nice. and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening. Thomas asked, "Will this be a new chill game?" I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. Okay, good stuff. So I did get noticed. I score a touchdown, right? I didn't gain 50 yards of total offense. It's kind of hard with only one play running, right? 60% completions. What? How did I not get 60% completions? What are they talking about? I don't know. Well, they scored. This is the rest of the game gets simulated because I'm not playing anymore. They only give me the first quarter. Oh my god, we might win. It's a preseason game, but we might actually win. Nope. Oh, never mind. I, I misspoke. Oh, now it's 24-26. Tw what? Oh my God, we're scoring like crazy. We won. We're going to win the game. Holy shit. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't Damn. help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called <laughs> being in the zone. I played an entire quarter. Oh, boy. I forgot it was only one quarter. <laughs> Okay, we're all done. Finish the game. Got us the first touchdown of the game, so I did my job. Look at that. So I have three of my fantasy goals already completed. One touchdown, 44 yards, six downs play. Two of my game day goals were completed. My weekly training was completed. My dynamic goals were completed. I didn't do a passing touchdown, right? But yes, I did. 20 passing touchdowns, 0%. I did one. Oh, you know what? Is that season goal? So that means when the real season starts, I bet. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Philip Smilia chair. <laughs> Philip Smilia chair. Oh, nice. What a name. Young Philip Smilia chair. Strapping young man. Advance week to get to your next game. Okay. I was hoping to see some downfield completions, but you know what? It was your first NFL action. I think it's something we can build on. Amazing. I did amazing in my first outing, and he complains. Fucking asshole. What a coach. Always whining. All right, that's it. Jump to next week. Whining. Okay, what did the coach say now? What's he going to whine about this week? <clears throat> Ready for week two, you'll be playing the entire first half of the game. I want you to build on what you did last week, so go out there and show me that you can play efficient football. 
But sir, football is played with your feet. You kick the ball around the field. It's not. It's not uh, what we're doing. <laughs> Finish the game with a passer, a passer rating of 95, by consistently completing passes, throwing touchdowns, and avoiding interceptions. Okay. Start my weekly training run. We're going to be playing the Buccaneers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So actually, it's an all Florida game: Miami versus Tampa. Yeah, Tampa Bay. Okay. I don't see how I do. Hand egg. That's right. This is the game of hand egg. <laughs> that guy is way too excited. JJ <laughs> Watt. Roided. Hey, JJ Watt. Was the last time the Texas won the Super Bowl? What are you so excited about? This taste this week, okay? Coaching staff has gone in. We've simplified the game plan. Let's go out here and execute. Hey, we got to execute to win. Come on, spill your chair. If we get a pass. He's open. Beautiful. Wide open, completed. Come on, set. Set the plan. Point, point. Wide open, completed. Very nice. <clears throat> Our book says I missed the Madden commentary. <laughs> Wide open. What? I got sacked. That's, how is that my fault? My defensive line didn't do a good job. He's open. So the one one I didn't complete, I got sacked because my team sucks. Great. You know what, man? That was pretty darn good. And you know what really gets me excited? The fact that I know we can get better. You guys have so much room to improve still. That is exciting. Let's go out here and next practice, let's improve. Yeah. All five plays of practice. Well, I'm, at least I'm doing better than if I simmed it. If you simmed it, you get the lowest rating. At least I'm getting the mid rating, the silvers, right? That's good. Yes, it is the offensive line, Declan. Why well, you gotta be a, di a dick? <laughs> I said my defensive line didn't do a good job. And he says, oh, it's your offensive line. I know. I'm just. I, I'm stupid. I'm not good at American football commentary. All right. Give me. Give me some slack here. I'm terrible at the game. I'm terrible at at, at the sport. Can you please just cut me a little bit of slack, Declan? Thank you. Okay. Well, the Bucks are five rating points above us, although the. Falcons were almost 10, and we still destroyed them. We actually gained a point. We're at 69 now instead of 68. <laughs> yes, Declan does, but changes his name to be Dick. Dicklin does, because he's being a dick to me. That's right. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. <clears throat> All right. I get to play the whole half this time, at least. That was such a disappointment. Only one quarter. It's like, you scored a touchdown. Now you you sit on the bench, asshole. No. This is great looking at the ratings. <clears throat> Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. It's the coach. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. With that, let's head over to Raymond James Stadium in Tampa for the call of this one. We bring they probably, in our they probably paid Coach like ten thousand dollars to do the Charles voiceovers. Watch. And we're about five miles northwest of downtown Tampa at beautiful Raymond James Stadium near Florida. They got pyro. The Dude, their numbers are weird. They're like digital numbers on like a clock. The zone, That's weird. Set as their guys will do battle with the Miami Dolphins. 
What is, uh, what's my number? I didn't even notice. What's my jersey number? I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts, and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win, and I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watched some of those shows. What? He clipped NFL through that. What was that? And you see the he coaches in preseason something. after a loss jumping all over their guys. So I learned one valuable lesson. Wins and losses count no matter what time of year it is. I don't care about Mike Evans. Fuck him. Yeah, what number is my jersey? I don't even know. Anyone know? <laughs> Case it, at least you're not on the Jets. <laughs> I'm on the shitty Dolphins. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he nice. hits his target. It's Kenny Stills. And Kenny Stills. After a pickup of eight, second and two. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, oh, I'm number seven! Holy shit! On not Lucky up the number seven. When he does catch the ball in the secondary. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Wide open. And this is Parker complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Oh, let's do a run. Let's do a run. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or a man coverage. The drag route can be effective when it's run well. Thomas asked me if I ever thought about playing NBA 2K. I did play NBA 2K many years in a row, actually. It's been a while now. It's been at least two, three years now since I played it. That was a really nice play. We able to stack that one up. But they get back in the huddle. He's got to. He's got to tell his guys up front. Great job. They kept people off of him. Allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. He the gap he's open. Go 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 go. Oh, did he get the first? He's on the line, I think. Eight yards on the completion, but now they. No, third and one. Third and one. All right, let's just go for the run. Let's get it. Let's get that first. Get that first, boy. And he gets the first. Very nice. And he's got two yards there. Good shit. Good shit. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. And that's the big fella's MO right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. They'll look to throw now on first down. Go, go, go. That's an easy first. Easy first. He was wide open. Inside the 30. Beautiful. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got nice. another first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And easy first oftentimes down. Oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, He's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run. Oh, yes. It oh, that's a touchdown. Right side. Did he do it? Take this into the end zone. Uh, did I get it? Here. We do have a flag oh, down. No! So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. God damn it. Holding. You fucking asshole. They'll look to throw. And over the middle, this is Parker. 
The completion good for Damn three it, man. second down. And this is a guy straight out of college. This sucks. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. Yeah, we got to go for a long pass here. Expecting to be a starter right away and a future All Pro. So they don't have any time to wait for him to come along. They want him to play right now to help this team. And you take a look at this draft class from a season ago. Really, it grades nah. out as a pretty darn good class. Terrible. They have to give a lot of credit to the entire scouting organization. God the damn it. Manager, personnel department, college scouts. All came together. They evaluated it very well. The Miami nice double in. Off. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. He'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end. First down. He did it. First down. 13 yards on his first catch. Beautiful. First down as well. A beautiful first down. Damn, dude. Good running. Here on this first drive, Good fucking running, dude. Confidence. Step it back into the pocket. Move around a little bit. Find open receivers. That was deliver. good stuff. That just means his confidence Woo! is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. Milage. Good, good yardage. That's like at least five or six, right? Seven. Very good, very good. Look at the quarter, eh? Now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound yeah. the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Thank you for the vote of confidence of Magnus Flame Beard. <laughs> with the football as they've got it with a second and three. Another run. We only need three. So they'll come up for the after first. a gain of seven on a second and three. <laughs> Do it, son. Is he in there? No. Short pick up oh, there man. The nine. Give him a yard Shit. on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Well, we uh, a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Do it, son. Do it. He's got it. He's got the first. Yep. The first down nice. Brought down at the three. Very nice. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal. You're a little hurdle? Okay. No, you got... I love this. No forward. formations. No misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball and pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short. That's what I mean, you're supposed quick, to do. Like you said, short old passes. school smash mouth football. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Touchdown! To throw. And he's got his tight end. Gets Beautiful. The end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Touchdown! The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Dolphins are in for Whoop. six. Perfect. Sometimes Wide open. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. Whoop. They found the mismatch there. Yes, yeah, spinning exactly catch. You want to drop those types spinning. of plays because... Coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. Very good. So, I didn't get my 75 passing yards, but I did get my touchdown. I didn't get my passer rating either. I don't know why. Every pass was completed. Yeah, I didn't get my passer rating. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Keep going. A quick pass. A quick pass. On the ground. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. He's open. Beautiful first. Beautiful first. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Very nice. When you see We're gonna keep going with these passes. You got a drag route on as your primary call. You got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They go play action here on first down. Beautiful. Oh, middle complete. That's Parker. Beautiful. And he's brought down after a very nice game. They can't stop the passes, dude. They can't stop them. Let's calm it down a little bit. Let's do a run now. Now that we're halfway across the field. This quarterback now, only one pass has hit the ground for him. 10 of 11 thus far. It's first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And forget about finding a lane. He barely got to look up before he was planted in the Never backfield. mind. I know go for another run. I got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. 
but the here best go, backs that go. made it happen, they put here a foot go. in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. That was pretty good, right? Ten back as that sets him up for third down. Third and two. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You Shout out to RL Cool who just reached up for 32 months. Amazing. Thank you, RL Cool, for the really support, man. things up for you. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look Open, at beautiful first down. Very nice. Very and nice. down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Let's go. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Time for some more runs say, now. Surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see him. Ah, brought down right away. Yardage. So they're going to throw the priority ball. alert. Is it not? That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. I think a lot of people are a little bit surprised there that they ran the draw after that successful pass play previously. But the thought process had to be maybe we can catch him rushing. The Got it. First down. With the <laughs> and they'll work it inside the 15 yard line before it's all said and done. Nice. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Run again. Going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Almost a uh, really touchdown. Good. Almost. Great working relationship with the guy throwing. I call timeout. I want to score here. I want to score. The Dolphins gonna burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Okay. Second and two. Oh! This is incomplete. Damn it. The intended receiver, and it's third and short. As we thought they might do here in week two of the preseason. Let's just get the two yards, dude. Quarterback out there for this get the two quarter. yards just run. I would imagine we will not see him after halftime. Yeah, this is the time of year you've got to get your back. Do it. Go, go, go. Two yards, two yards. He didn't get it. I got to call timeout, yeah. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds. Fourth and two. That's it. They're taking me out. They're not letting me finish it. You got to be kidding me. They took me out. They did. We, they scored, though. They took me out, but then they scored. Well, we're going to win. We were, we're dominating, right? We're doing real good. Damn, 28-7. Yeah, we got them. We destroyed them. Very nice. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But Well, I did pretty good, teams. man. They had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast? They love the slop. Time, or are you one of those guys I'm a little skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you skeptical. trust it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice. Got your notes laminated, because, you know, open air booth, that rain can affect <laughs> us as well, although not as much as the guys on the free stream. Free stream hype it. frog says I'm too hyped for the preseason games. Well, I'm just getting hyped for the game itself. How impressive is it that you travel with it's good the to get hyped. I didn't even know there was excited, a right? It's very different because I can get hyped for this. I don't get hyped for MLB. MLB, you go to sleep. Damn. Passing touchdown, 132 passing yards, 24 downs played, 75 passing yards. Dude, I was, are you kidding me? I was up by one goal, the 95 plus passer rating. I was up by 3%. That sucks. That's really good though. Uh, let's see what the coach says. Nice game. The offense is looking pretty good out there. Which unit played the best, in your opinion? The receivers. The receivers are incredible. The speed and athleticism is off the charts. All right. 300, uh, 300, uh, excuse me. 3,000 bonus experience points for your wide receivers. Three CIT for all wide receivers and tight ends. Catch in traffic rating up. Okay. All right, on to the next week. Who's next? Who's next for this whooping? We're going to have an undefeated season with the Dolphins. Who are we playing now? We're playing the Jaguars, the Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, let's see what he has to say. 
Nice job last week. I hope you're ready to take the training wheels off because we're giving you three full quarters. Build on last week. Keep improving. We'll be using this game film this week to solidify the best 53 players on this team. Score plus one plus touchdowns, running or passing, and throw fewer than two interceptions. That's your game day goal. Not too bad. All right, time for the weekly training. <clears throat> Here we go. So far, so good. Ben Roethlisberger. I know Ben Roethlisberger. I don't know Cameron Jordan, though. A Saints defensive end. Bring your lunch pails, fellas. I need to see that workman attitude today. We gotta <laughs> get better today. What I want to know is, who's ready to get better? I'm ready to work today. You ready to work? You ready to work? All right, then let's see it. Let's get out there and do it. Damn, you all got worse today. You guys suck. You guys all fucking suck. Nice. Open. Beautiful. Just wait for him to be open, and there you go. You know, I don't know what it is. I think last year, when I was playing this game, I had a lot more trouble, like, reading the plays and seeing who was open. This year, it seems easier to me. I don't know why. It just seems a lot easier to me to see who's open and who's not. Ah, fucking shit days. <laughs> He's open. He's open. Beautiful. I kill I always get silver. Four completions. That was pretty darn good. And you know what really gets me excited? The fact that I know we can get better. You guys have so much room to improve still. That is exciting. Let's go out here and next practice, let's improve. <laughs> let's improve. Another silver. Yeah, Beard Teddy says, overall, you're becoming a better gamer every year. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. All right. This will probably be my last game of the day. Preseason game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I get to play three quarters, so. Yeah, Philip, smell your chair. That's what it's all about when you smell that chair. So they're only rated 74. We're now rated 70. So we're actually getting leveling up every game and getting closer to the ratings of our opponents. That's good. Charlie, a.k.a. Chuck, asked, am I having more fun playing the game this year compared to last year? It's kind of different. It's so different because last year you were playing two different campaigns, two different characters. And now it's like, you know, you're playing one guy who's developing. It feels very different from last year's story mode. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm having more or less fun. This has been a good first session, though. I like this so far. I don't know how much, how much better I'm going to do. Hey, everybody. It's the Coast. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Miami Dolphins. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday Night Football. And on the call, as always, it's Brandon God and Charles Davis. You gotta admit, their stadiums are like awesome. The Hard Rock Stadium. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium. Looks badass. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago the Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Let's pull to get that tunnel. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you and now we sit CD at week three of the preseason and this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly. This is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. You might even game plan a little bit more than you do with a normal preseason game. And then you've got to decide, do you bring them back after halftime 
and get them going again in the third quarter so they're ready to go when okay. the regular season begins. I'm eager to see how these coaches will handle that. Kay asks, is there a dream team I want to be traded to? I mean, not really. Like I said, I don't really follow the NFL anymore. I wouldn't even know who's good at, you know, these days besides fucking Patriots. Every year the Patriots, Patriots. All right. <clears throat> We're already down by seven, but what can you do? Start with a X follow pass. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Did he get it? Middle here to Wilson. He did get it. And as a first rounder, a lot of eyes on him, a lot of expectations. And he has to play well in his rookie year. Those days of coddling guys and bringing them along slowly, those days are long gone. When you're drafted in the first round, they expect you to play right away. An empty and stick nod. Eyes and fan base, they'll be on you the entire way. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion. He's open. Oh my God! Go 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 go! Yeah. Very nice. The best players they could Woo. at the time they were drafting and inserted them into their lineup. 36 yards on the yeah. play. Yeah. I know we love our jobs and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. Go for a run now. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that. Nice. They found that's a hole. A that's at least five. Takes Is that five? the 32, maybe the 31. Defensively five. rallying to the ball after the nice move. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second and five. Wide open. First down. Can he, can he get the first? I don't know if he got it. 30 inches. Come on, man. 30 inches. Fuck it. Get the yard with his run. With five in the secondary now on third down. Get that yard. Oh, that definitely got the yard. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that leap? Leapfrog. Leapfrog, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Straight cash homie to me $5. Hold on, straight cash homie who gifted me this game just to me $5. I said, this playthrough is awesome. Fill on the trash dolphins. Go Patriots. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, what can you do? I got drafted to the Dolphins, dude. Uh, but this is cool. Thank you very much for the game, and thank you for the tip. Right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because I want to see that leapfrog. Practice beforehand. Le oh my God, that is so sick. You go through your play That's call, a great you player right there. The Fucking amazing and leapfrog like move. Like Woohoo! Right now for them. That is sweet. All right. From the red zone now. They'll He's open. To Touchdown. It's Woo! And he will take it in for a yeah. Good shit. Yard down. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Very nice. All right, so first quarter done. we got two more quarters coming up. First play. Why not do a pass on the very first play? Why not? Wait, what? How are we in scoring position? What happened? They're gonna look to throw. No. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. How do we get the ball back? Able to knock that one away. You know, last week I remember asking you what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week uh -huh. two of the preseason. Now we're in week three. There's an interception by the defense. Holy shit! Wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty. He's good open. Stuff, pretty vanilla. Oh, no, or not. Traffic and it's intercepted. Oops. Well, it was interception. Did an interception. Jack. And he'll be Oops. shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other Oops. plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know. Oops. I screwed up. I screwed it up badly. 
Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an Beautiful. interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. What the fuck's he talking you about? That's not really true, right? If you, have a candy bar, if you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, and it balances it out. That sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Good run. There's at least five. A gain of three, second down. Oh, I'm going to keep in mind, That's partner, bullshit. especially in the second half. When you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first That's half. a first. Maybe not no. so much in the second half. No. Shorter gains, turn into Third and one? Later. Are you asshole i think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense we know not every come on get the one yard dude it, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt get the one all right they got it they got, got it enough for the first across midfield to the 48. it's a gain of four there and it gives him a new set of downs and we tend to give those running backs some and the slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical downhill running. Yes. Now the pass hauled in by Kenny yes. Stills. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for 13 and a dolphin first down. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver. Oh my god. Almost on a direct it looked like he had he had the field. He had the opportunity to grab it, but nope. Now meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and ten. Let him know, let him know. Second and ten. Oh what? Wait a minute. Did you see that? The guy teleported. My guy was wide open. I pass it to him. The guy teleports. He didn't even have an animation. He's like, duh, 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 and hits the ball. Why does he go double speed to hit the ball? Oh, Fuck man, that shit. Intended receiver. And it's third down. He seriously did. That was complete bullshit. Quarter, you would think the plans for them to at least play into the third quarter, if not all the way through. Yeah, it might go by feel. If they have a really good first drive to start the third quarter, they might pull them after that. If not, that is a first. A yes, that's a touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Devontae Parker, 36 yards. Vesta said he did instant transmission into his slap. Yeah, he did with that fucking teleport game. move. He was wide open. There was nobody the there. The nice juke. Get it to him. Let him do the rest. A he nice really juke. Probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his. Nicole says man has had problems like that for years. Yeah, it's so stupid. The guy goes double fucking speed. Do, 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 and hits the fucking football. Do we stop him? We stop them. Nice. All right, we gotta do some big passing plays. We only got a minute left. He'll drop to throw. And the coverage terrific God damn it. there that's knocked down and incomplete. The linebacker, Miles Jack, able to knock that one away. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Yes, what a catch, now, dude. Complete Beautiful field catch. On the left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Well, timeout. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. The smash. The scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing Back to throw. Yes! Yes! Time out again. Field almost to the 40 before being taken down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Looking to throw. Wide open. Yes! Go, 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 go! Yeah! Yeah! Call the timeout. Now the Dolphins will <laughs> use the last of their timeouts. 
As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. All right. This quarterback now hitting on two thirds of his passes, 10 for 15 so far. First and 10. Wide open. To throw. That is caught at the seven yard line. Injury timeout. No! Injury! And right at a yard. Oh my God, injury timeout. That catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Second and one. Touchdown! Touchdown! Yeah! And the Dolphins have broken our tie as they take the lead. Woo! And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Very okay. nice. He's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He dances. What are they doing uh, in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents. And also maybe... What a celebration. Why not the Patriots, says Akimtoto? Hey, I got to go whoever drafts me, and that's who drafted me, so. All right. What? We got the ball back again? How do we get the ball back again? What is going on? We keep getting the ball back. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Wide open. Wide open. It's Allen complete. <laughs> and they work this well upfield across the 45. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? Oh my God! Touchdown! 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 <laughs> what in the holy hell, dude? Jakeem Grant. Touchdown! Fucking bomb touchdown! Oh my god! What the hell, dude? What is going on? Wow! And now we got the ball back. This is insane. Now we have the ball back. We have the fucking ball back because the third quarter they gave it back to us. Oh my god. On play action, they'll throw. That's way off. Oh, way off. Yeah. The turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Go for a run. I'm only playing three quarters, remember. This is my last quarter of the game. Come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the side. Oh, my God. Beautiful. That's like eight. Probably eight. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Again, it's got the first. Very nice. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Very nice. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. We all love to have a home run hitter. Let's do a quick pass to throw flat. Quick one. Short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy. Oh, he's a nice luxury to have, isn't he? They'll look to throw here. And that's complete to the right side. Hey, got a couple yards. A couple we'll yards. A couple on the catch. It's second and eight. One of two consecutive pass completions. I need another pass completion. Not now. all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Yes! Now the second is. That's the tight end. Gasicki. Consecutive. And he'll work it across midfield inside the four. Getting all these goals completed. 19 Very yards nice. to pick up there. Move the chains. And with that last play, he's now up over that. Right, let's do some more runs. Mark. And in today's NFL, it Very almost nice. feels routine. I, I got X Factor. I, I don't know if you have to activate it or if it just works now. But we just got another first, by the way. Holy crap. We're destroying the Jaguars. Destroying them. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive. Just keep running it for now. In this case, it really is working. Fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They'll run it here. Oh my God! Again. That's like a, that's at least five. Six. There as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. 
They can't stop like the maybe run. Maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Second and four. No, oh, that's bad. That's yeah, bad. He almost had it defensively. I shouldn't have thrown Could that. Have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. All right, let's go for first. If we don't get it, we'll get a field goal. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd first be down. Hello, Moonwalkman. We welcome us to know how the story mode is. So far, it's good. It's good, but now I'm on the Dolphins, so I don't know how much more story there's going to be. We have to see. We're in preseason right now. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their Oh, what did I press? Oh, I did a run by accident. I wanted a passing play. On this drive. I completely did the wrong play. Running game working. What a work. Look at that. First down. Almost a touchdown. Two yard line. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, he time to crunch some bodies, quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with those bodies. Son. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will. Crunchy. On the oh, or just get a touchdown. The end zone for nice. A touchdown. Right, this has been one hell of a game. Run. One of my best games for sure, destroying them. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start nice. to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. Pull away a little now bit. We're up by like four touchdowns. Fortitude. We're seriously up by like like so many points. Three touchdowns. They scored. They did score. Oh, that's it. I'm done for the game. But we're going to win for sure, dude. Very nice. Very good. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to yeah, put up that number great of game. points. Continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. Mm -hmm. as an offensive I'm looking forward to Street Fighter tonight too, Magnus Lambeer. Moon Walker says, what's your name? My name is Smelly a Chair. Remember that guy, Philip Smelly Chair, so who's been in the chat, so I named partner, him Philip Smelly a Chair. <laughs> and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gordon. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Very nice. I did, dude, I did a lot the of the Dolphins goals. The Dolphins are winners here Let's as see. we say so long from... Let's see how many of the goals I completed. I did a ton. All right. Did, did I do them all? Holy shit, I did every goal. I seriously did. Wow. Every goal completed. Dynamic drives, power passes, game day and fantasy. That was 100% complete. Upgrades are now available. Field general. Update. Yes. Awareness and throw ACC mid. Throw accuracy mid, I'm assuming. Just went up. Nice. All right, good stuff. My whole rating went up by one. That's excellent. Let's see what the coach has to say. Pretty good game. I love touchdowns, but you know what I love more? A big zero in the interceptions. Yeah, because I tossed through one. We got one more preseason game next week. I think we're going to make it pretty easy. I'll fill you in on the game plan a little later. So, yeah, we just went... Oh, wow, I got 3,000 bonus experience points. Nice. And throw accuracy plus one. Look at that. And throw accuracy plus one for mid and deep. And under pressure, three. Damn, I got a lot of bonuses. That's excellent. So, who's our last preseason game going to be against? I think it's a game against the uh, Saints there. All right. So, so far, so good. Being drafted was awesome. The preseason stuff was kind of fun. I'm enjoying the game. Let's see if I can continue at this level and continue to do well. We'll have to find out next time. So that's it for my first session of Madden 20. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Awesome.